Yeah, g'day. I'm Chris Donovan. I farm here in Tapanui in West Otago um, with my wife Emily and our three kids. Uh, we have 520 hectares between two blocks. Um, we predominantly farm sheep with a mix of Frisian bulls and we also take on uh, dairy grazers through the winter. Uh, we do winter grazing because our grass growth drops off uh, towards the end of May, June and July, we slow right down. So we need to grow crops to feed our stock, um, which we also supplement with baleage, which, which we take off in summer and autumn uh, any surplus grass we wrap up and we store it for winter time or any feed pinches that we need to feed out to keep the stock full and happy. Uh, animal welfare, it's about trying to keep them happy and healthy, give them enough space to lie down um, and do something nice and dry and hard for them and just keep them happy. Uh, in the winter our paddocks can end up like rugby fields so we try and minimise that. Um, we try and give them plenty of room to move, big long breaks. Um, no one likes to see cows up knee deep in mud, um, so we try and avoid that where possible. Using portable troughs where we can just to avoid cows walking backwards and forwards, creating more mud. It's also, also better for them, you know, it keeps the weight on them, they're not travelling. Farmers protect the environment by picking paddocks not too close to waterways, but if we do, we minimise the risk by grazing downhill, top to bottom, using the crop as a natural filter and if, just to reduce the runoff. And we also leave a big grass buffer so it catches any sediment at the bottom if there is any. Yeah, long term planning it, we probably plan out 18 months in advance by the time we soil test and just pick the right paddock, how we're going to graze it and what we're going to graze on it. Well no farmers want to see cattle stuck in the mud. Um, we all want to look after the environment, you know, this is our future, this is our home. Um, I know we've, we've all come a long way, we're learning a lot, we've still a lot to learn, but I think we're moving forward in the right direction.